video four in this recovery procedure since I was interrupted by a job calling in on the other phone. So let's get back to this. This is the sub cooling circuit on this condenser. These bottom four, five, sometimes six rows of refrigerant passage tubes are completely filled up with a solid column of liquid. Up here you have vapor. It goes through the receiver dryer. Uh, in commercial HVAC you just say receiver because dryers are separate and this will be a solid column of liquid stored down here at the bottom to feed to the subcooling liquid then it goes through the subcooling liquid well this is where all your oil is too is in this liquid coming right off this line right off your high side circuit this is why you do not want to recover at first your liquid line because you would be getting a solid column of liquid which is a faster way of removing refrigerant but in automotive it's a faster way of removing lubricant with that refrigerant so this is what i'm going to explain this is why you recover off the suction line and if you see in this situation it's a it's an excellent situation because our liquid our suction line is located at the highest point in the whole entire system the expansion valve the liquid line the suction line it all drops down to where it enters the receiver dryer back there and it drops down again down this way down to the compressor so everything that could be any liquid refrigerant even in the suction line and oil is located very low so when we pull refrigerant out of here we're pulling it from the top if you had a coca-cola can or bottle think of a bottle and you have that little air space and you slowly crack the top and the carbonation from the co2 slowly bubbles out from the coca-cola and we'll say that liquid coca-cola is oil and you're removing the refrigerant co2 is a refrigerant 747 744 refrigerant so you're bleeding off and slowly releasing the pressure and uh, vapor refrigerant is expanding and coming out of the concentration of oil which is the coca-cola raising to the top and you're ciphering it off of the top the highest spot well what if you remove this spot here and you siphoned off the bottom of the coca-cola bottom and you open it up you'd just get liquid out of there well that would be your oil so this is what we're doing here is we're just ciphering off vapor refrigerant so I'm connected, I'm connected, connected, closed. Actually, I could vapor that out. It's all under microns right now anyway. So let's hook this off. Get it connected here. Yeah, this is uh, kind of awkward sometimes. Actually, I, I want to enlarge, remove, shoot, I'm doing this. This is the problem holding a camera when I'm trying to do things one-handed. Okay, so actually I want to extend this. I really don't like where they have any of them. I never like any, any uh, equipment where they have their plugs at. So let's start that up. So what we're right now doing is we're pulling from this point, from this point, it's already under microns there, but any trap there in there, is getting flushed out and as you see it's under 29 vacuum right now throughout the system keep on going make sure it's going Put it up here So what I did was I put it on self-purge so anything I did have in here just self-purged out I'm gonna close this so now we're a sealed system and we're ready for recovery and it would be real nice if I would have grabbed my pliers with my broken tops that I always use and let's see if he has a set of pliers hanging around here no I'm gonna have to go back and get mine all right next video because I forgot to bring pliers with me because I'm concentrating on a video. All right, be back. Video, I think five coming up.